Where am I? Hello? Where is everyone? Is this a spirit fossil? What's it doing in a Spyrex? <laughs> Who's there? Ugh! Greetings to you, Jude. Wait. You're floating. And you look like... What are you? <clears throat> Please do not be alarmed, Jude. I am the spirit Musei. You are the spirit... Musei? I am here on Maxwell's orders. Mila's orders? Tell me where she is. I must apologize. I have drained a great amount of mana. I am unable to use my full power. So you don't know where she is then? I would if you'd tether with me. The mana produced by a human's mana lobe is the source of a spirit's power. So if we tether, you'll get your power back and you can find out where Mila is? All right then, let's do it. I, uh... Where is everyone else? Well, I can't help you with that one. I see. So what should we do? Whatever you wish to do. Oh. And now Ju can tether with Muse. We can actually use her as a like kind of an art for Jude for this area, and obviously the area map is no longer available. Anyways, with that, guys, welcome to back to Let's Play Tales of Zillia. A lot of crap happened in the last episode, but first, before we get into that, there's a skit here, a mysterious spirit. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Oh, I guess we're not going to be listening to it. <laughs> we're actually going to equip Muse to our arts menu. If you go all the way down, she's right there. You can actually use her as an art. So, Muse is that that interesting <laughs> like spirit lady that that appeared before Jude and she kind of came out of nowhere either. And now we can kind of use her in battle to get through this area. As of right now, we're all by ourselves. But anyways, let's go ahead and listen to this. A mysterious spirit I guess the water channels beneath Fezabel Marsh brought me here. I wonder how far they pulled me. Who knows? Hey, do you know if Mila's safe? The Lord of Spirits is fine. Good. I mean, Maxwell couldn't ever actually die, right? That's right. Unless Maxwell were to use a mortal human body as a catalyst. You know, it's funny how different you two are. Is that so? Yeah, Mila's much more... No, never mind. As you wish. <laughs> but in the last episode, <sighs> all hell broke loose. Um, pretty much we went through Fezabel, we battled Rashigal and Azul, we fought the Chimeriad, we defeated them, and then we went and fought Gaius and defeated him. And upon doing that, well, something happened with the Lance Kresnik, and it caused something to appear on this band of enemies who, who is led by Gillen appeared and pretty much wiped off everybody off the face of the planet. And, well, Mila and all the... Every, uh, Jude and everybody else got split up. This is actually one of the few times that Jude and Mila are actually split up right now. But first, we've got a knife freeze treasure right here. Um, if you look at this tree and this part, and this part right here, right where you spawn, there's going to be an eye freeze treasure here. Now, 
a lot of the enemies here are in fact weak by fire and <laughs> well it's a good thing that I did, did get the fire weapon and like I said before this is one of the segments where Jude and Mila are, are split up so in the next episode we are going to be seeing what Mila said that is doing on her side so the next two episodes are happening at Cohen's Cohen's like coincide with each other they're they're gonna be happening right at the same time so no further uh, plot progression is gonna happen in the next episode it's just gonna be showing what Mila that was doing on the other side but here is the other end of Fezbo March we cannot go any further than this here um, you'll notice this when you come down here you'll notice that it's a dead end here this is kind of a dead end entrance and well Fezbo Marsh is kind of split into two and two ends right now there was the end that we came out of from Auckland Quaid and then we got the end that's up here into uh, Talia Tundra which you know it's kind of weird when you really think about it if you look if you really look and see that marsh area we've got two whiplash of extreme uh, like climates here we have a very swampy marsh area that's probably very hot and humid from all the water in the area and very you know vibrant and in grass and all this other stuff and it's probably really hot and humid then we go into this area where it's snowing it's up near the mountains this is kind of weird it's kind of a weird mood with flash with with um the weather anyways but as you guys can see I'm having Muse use her attack her attacks are pretty much all elemental based and it's a very strong attack I'm gonna say this right now just because Jude's by himself right now you're not at a disadvantage the enemies are always going to be kind of like low count and everything here. And not only that, Muse is very overpowered uh, art to be using. And in fact, you can pretty much kill I'm enemies so cold, in one I spot. And I haven't really been talking humans? about the enemies. That may lead to hypothermia and eventually death, but as a spirit, I'm fine. So why don't you do something to help him, Muse? <laughs> but anyways, uh, I haven't really been talking about the enemies, but... Uh, yeah, the enemies are all based on ice, so if you have fire-based weapons, you're going to do fine. And honestly, they're just reskins of other enemies at this point. That's, like I said before, big common problem JRPGs that, well, actually just RPGs in general, is just like you're going to run into enemies that just have, you know, pretty much everything. <laughs> they're, they're pretty much the same as all the other enemies, they're just recolors of different enemies but here here in Talia Tundra like I said before this is going to be kind of hard uh, like it was not really that hard because you have the Muse art but if you're trying not to use Muse's art it can get a little bit hard the I mean the good thing is that I really like about it is they kind of scale the situation since you're all by yourself they're only gonna throw like one or two enemies at you whenever you're fighting enemies and stuff like that but if you're like fighting with uh, but that's the thing is if you're trying to do not use Muse's ability it can get really really hard after a while they'll they'll decimate you if you're on higher difficulties so be mindful of that you don't have anybody healing you right now I just want you to be remember that over already but right here we got another freaking bird <laughs> but we have another Ifree's treasure right here in the next area. We want to go ahead and pick this up. And inside is an Omega Elixir. I talked about these before. You want to hold on to these. <laughs> I know we only have one, two at the moment, but Omega Elixirs are like your best item in the game kind of item. They completely revive you, or completely revive the party while completely healing them. So those are items you should be waste uh, just holding on to until very late game where you're fighting a very tough boss that's kind of the best advice I can do like in that fight with Gaius in the last episode I wonder if the others went in here I can't help you with that one hmm shall we take a peek if you wish what do you think whatever you like <sighs> So much help you, Army. Like, jeez. <laughs> but here we are in Kukar Ice Caverns. 
as the name implies, there's all ice enemies in here, so having that fire weapon is really beneficial. I'm gonna take a quick, uh, like, little break right here, and I'm expanding my shops a little bit, and you'll kinda see I've already cut this all out. Um, but yeah, we've got the weapon shop and <laughs> investor, the we armor shop investor, all this other stuff. We've got a lot of, like, titles of it during that little segment I was upgrading my shops and everything. I think everything's around level 50, 60-ish right now. So, we're kind of doing good with shops. I just cut that out because it was very time-consuming and <laughs> editing. But, anyways, let's go ahead and fight these guys here. Um, these are snow tortoises. Like all the other tor tortoises, they're really hard enemies to kill because they have really high defense. But, like I said before, Omega Elixirs are kind of items you want to hold on to until very late game or very hard boss like Gaius in the last episode. Gaius is really hard boss and... You should kind of be saving your stuff for that. That's really all I can really tell you. But honestly, Omega Elixirs are very scarce until you get your item shop to, I believe, level... I can't remember the level. It's, like, really high-level item shop, and they'll start selling them. So you'll never run out of them. Unless you really want to focus your materials and stuff like that on the item shop, I'd really just keep a hold of all your Omega Elixirs. By the end of the game, you should have at least, I want to say about eight or nine of them in your inventory, so don't worry about it right now. If if you want to, yeah, go right ahead and focus your item shop. Like, I, I've been doing it a couple times on the item shop, but it's really not my main focus when I play this game to upgrade my item shop to, uh, item shop to a certain level. I really want to focus on armor, accessories, and weapons, really. But let's go ahead and defeat these snow cats. <laughs> and as you guys can see, Muse is doing a lot of damage. She's just like whip whipping them and then they die. <laughs> it's kind of really overpowered kind of art right now. But uh, Jude will be tethered with uh, Muse for uh, quite some time. So you'll have this art for a while. But now, um, here in the ice caverns, one little thing that trips me up every time is you can actually climb these vines right here and that'll take you to the next area. Like, you, you see on the map, you're like, I can't go up there, and then you realize, oh, there's vines here. Let's go ahead and climb it. But I was trying to use my map, and you can't actually use the map. Even though you've got a map right there, for some reason, you, you, you were hearing the cancel icon. Like, it's like, you can't do that kind of icon. Or, not icon, but like the little jingle that was like, did it, did it. I was pushing square. I was trying to open up the map and see where I was on the, in the map. At this point, you can't use the map, and it's weird because you have a map right there. <laughs> you, in the top right corner, you have a map right there. Or top left corner, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's kind of weird because like, you can't use the map. I was like, well, I've got a map right here. Why can't I use the map? That's weird. <laughs> But if you come all the way down here, there is going to be te treasure chest. Any off-beaten path you kind of want to be looking for, because they're going to be holding treasure chest. But if you come all the way down here, the cutscene will activate. So, let's go ahead and watch it. Quick, hide! Looks like they're moving on. Alvin. What, no happy to see you? Oh, hey, shoot, I miss you so much! Oh, la, la, la. Uh, good to see you too, Tico. Elise, are you okay? I'm okay. Well done. Seems like every time I meet you, you're escorting a different chick. Uh, this is, uh... On Mila's orders, huh? So, are all spirits good-looking or what? I'm Alvin. Nice to meet you. And I'm Tifo. Nice to meet ya! It's nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. I hope the others got away. Should we keep moving? Huh? What is it? You were always an Exodus agent, weren't you? Why bother asking? 
talking. He's just going to lie. That's right. He's a big fat liar. Hey, I feel just as betrayed as you guys. Gillen didn't tell me about any of this. He lied to you? You got that right. The nerve of that guy, right? If you feel so betrayed, you wouldn't be so cheerful. Not necessarily, eh, Jude? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to think anymore. And I could barely even concentrate on Gillen with that cold-hearted hottie floating next to him. What was her name? Celsius? Do you know her? Celsius. That would be the Great Spirit of Ice. Great Spirit? Why didn't Mila recognize her? I'm a monster! I suppose we should wrap up the chit-chat. Didn't those strange soldiers head back toward the entrance? Indeed. No doubt they are waiting for us to return. What'll we do? Head deeper in? Oh? So I can tag along? If it's okay with Jude, it's okay with us. Not that we have to like it, though. What do you say, kid? Fine. Great, then it's settled. So now... Even an ice cave feels warmer than being out in that snow. <laughs> so now we have Elise and Alvin back in our party. But we've also got a skit here. Soldiers from the sky. What were those flying ships and soldiers that appeared from the sky? It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Perhaps it was all a dream? Come on. And when Zhao died, was that a dream too? If you forget all about it, it might as well be. Just let it fade away in the morning light. No need to lug that baggage around. So, do you know something about who those people were? You know, I feel like I may have had a dream about them. <laughs> What an amusing fellow you are. So, with that little tidbit of information, we have learned that the identity of these strange soldiers that came from the sky in the last, at the very end of the last episode were in fact Exodus, led by Gillen himself. Now Alvin's got some sort of vengeance against them now. But we don't know why and why he's upset about everything. But... We have Elise and Alvin back in our party right now, so now we can actually have the three party members back, so at least it's not not dude by himself again. Um, at this point, like I said before, you are still split up, so that means Mila is with Leia and Rowan, and we'll get into more in detail about that in the next episode. We're, like I said, we're going to be focusing on Mila's end of, pers of the perspective in the next episode, but anyways, if you go deeper into the ice caverns here we heard a roar a mysterious monster roar there is a lord of this cavern and he is going to be blocking our path to get out of here so we have to go through him in order to advance further now there is a knife reach treasure right here on this corner on this end of the ice cavern inside are another accessory called rosy cheeks <laughs> so that's where another ice reach treasure is now, after you get Alvin and Elise back, you can finally use your area map, which, like I said before, it doesn't make any sort of sense that you couldn't use it in the beginning to begin with. Um, I do understand, like, the f I think it has something to do with the fast travel, if I remember correctly. The fast travel, you can't do, because obviously, well, <laughs> you don't really, you can't really fast travel in this kind of situation. <laughs> so, I understand that, but to kind of make it so that you can't use the area map by pushing square that's kind of a little bit harsh i know it was only like a little very temporary but i was just like why can't i use the <laughs> the area map see where the heck i was going <laughs> but now once you get alvin and lee's back you can actually use the area map again which is actually very helpful because this this cavern's pretty lengthy pretty it goes in like circles a lot so you kind of want to have that you know <laughs> But, but I digress. Let's go inside the hole here. And inside's another treasure chest. We have iron leggings, which is an accessory, which I do believe that I have better stuff, but I'm not too sure um, at this point, because I can't remember what I'm wearing when it comes to leg wear. But let's go ahead and jump down this right here. 
And on the other end, there should be some sort of loot. There is a bag right here, and inside is more materials and stuff like that. But like I said before, if you have your if you have your characters have all fire-based weapons, you should be fine in this cavern. This cavern's not too hard, so be mindful of that. I actually saw that little uh, dead end down there. I was like, I'm gonna go down it. <laughs> Got some more jet black feathers. We're doing good on that, but let's go inside this hole here. We crawl in here. There's another treasure chest. Let's uh, open it up. And inside's more jet black feathers. So, hur yippee hooray! We're doing getting more of those. Let's go down this dead end. There's a treasure chest down here. Get that annoying bat out of the way. <laughs> and inside is a gothic plate, which is a very strong item for Alvin. Let's go ahead and put that on him. He's got a mithril plate, and actually we have silver leggings on, thanks to the accessory shop being high level. Um, and that's pretty much it. I was like, do I have iron leggings? I was like, no, I have silver leggings. That's better. So if you don't have your accessory shop at, at that point by, by now, uh, the iron leggings are really good, strong accessories to have. Um, in the accessory shop, they sell a lot of like stat boosting items and stuff like that. But one of the best items that you can get are the boots. The boots increase your both your physical and art defense. And a lot of the accessories that they sell in the accessory shop aren't really worth your time or effort because they just help protect you from certain situations, which can be helpful in some situations. Like I could use a hot bowl of soup. I could use some curry to warm up. I could use some fried teapot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had that that little uh, in skit there. I wanted to show that off. That's why I kept it there. But um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of items in the accessory shop that will help you with stat-based items, and I really recommend getting those in some situations. But you have Elise who knows the spell at this point. Yeah, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But, but I digress. There's a lot of... Honestly, the boots are the best stuff. You sure this is the right way? What are you asking me for? What do you think, Elise? I'm just following Jude. Well, which way do you think we should go? Like you'd really trust any of my suggestions. You got that right, you lying liar! Yeah, what the spud said. Do whatever you like. Ah, uh, right. Everyone! Something's in the water! Huh? Oh, aqua dragons. What a menacing display. What are you smiling about? This isn't a petting zoo. Here they go! Wanna run? <laughs> Everyone, get in formation! Depot, buy us some time. Go get eaten or something. Oh, don't say that! <laughs> Depot, quick! Go get eaten! <laughs> But yes, we are fighting two Aqua Dragons. They're all level 4, or both level 40 and weak to fire. Uh, one Aqua Dragon will have different stats than the other one. Uh, that one had 3600, uh, like 3600 HP, I think. I can not remember what it said. And th this one has 3500 HP, uh, 35,000 HP, I'm sorry. These guys can get a little bit of annoying, but they're really not that hard. Um, they're nothing compared to what you fought in the last episode, if that's what you're asking. These Aqua Dragons are really not really that bad, especially since you have Elise, which is your healer. And they do inflict, um, status ailments, and they do have their own forms of, like, linked arts and stuff like that. But the thing is, though, they're really not that bad. They, they'll come and get you trapped in this corner of anything. But if, as long as you have fire weapons like I do... You shouldn't have trouble with these guys. These guys aren't really that bad. Now, normally, <laughs> in this kind of situation, what you would, what I normally do is I link up with Alvin, even though he's got a water-based link art that he normally use. Um, one thing in particular that I should really mention is you should be careful of them doing their status ailments because they do do a lot of status ailments and they will inflict them with their attacks, but like I said before, if you have Elise, 
Alright, you have a Elise at this point. She'll, she should have this spell at this point in the game. So that'll get rid of that. One thing I will warn you guys about is they will do multiple slice attacks. So they will like do like 50, about 50 damage, I want to say about a few times. And that can get really annoying. Especially late game, there's a bunch of enemies that will do stuff like that. But as long as you just dodge and use your snap pivots and everything and do linked arts like I am, uh, linked arts with chain linked arts and stuff like that, you shouldn't have that much of an issue. Now when you come down to one aqua dragon, that shouldn't be an issue at this point. If you kill one, the other one's going to be a piece of cake. Just wail on him. Eventually he's just going to go down like the other one. And don't forget you have Muse as an art, so just be mindful of that. Muse does take up a lot of TP, so be careful of that. And with that, you should be able to defeat him really easily. But yeah, these guys are pretty much really simple. They're not as bad as like the last bosses we fought in the last episode, like Myriad and Gaia. These guys are really cake. So... <laughs> And uh, with that, we should be able to defeat him, like so. Whoa, that was way too scary. I'm glad you're safe, Tifo. Oh yeah, I'm glad too. Really? You tried to use him as bait. <laughs> and with that, Just keeps got a couple better. level ups. Don't sweat it, kid. No skin off our teeth. What's wrong? Just thinking about Zhao. Why did he give his life to protect me? Maybe because he cared about you. I don't know. You don't think so? I think. <sighs> you don't want to talk about it? I still need time to think about it. Okay, sorry I can't be of much help. Maybe Mila or Rowan can figure it out. I'm sorry, too. Don't worry about it. Let's keep pushing forward. that we have defeated the aqua dragons and we've got another skit here let's go ahead and listen to this one this skit is called the aqua dragons those aqua dragons sure weren't shy about coming after us they must have been half starved or something i bet there's not much to eat in this spirit climb um it was probably my fault i fought them before we all met you fought the aqua dragons by yourself i had to they were trying to eat me! I was so scared! Oh, are aqua dragons drawn to Garrus trinkets? Tipo isn't a trinket! As you say, I suppose it does appear to be somewhat edible, and looks quite tasty in fact. No, don't eat me! <laughs> well, Tipo kind of does look like chewing gum. <laughs> He's very stretchy, but... And that's another thing about that skin. I was just like, wait, Elise fought them all by herself? I mean, like, yeah, when you're scared to your death, like, adrenaline kind of kicks in, makes you a lot more powerful uh, maybe, than normal. Maybe Mila might know. And that's another thing about Elise, uh, kind of conflicting her at this moment. If you guys remember in the last episode, Zhao died. Zhao gave his life to protect Elise. And. Elise is 12 years old, and 
in fact, I honestly think that can... That would really mentally scar her. She's already lost a lot of... A lot of people in her life already. She lost both her parents, as well as Zhao. You know, somebody that took care of her for the majority of her life when her parents died. And honestly, that's very sad to see. And not only that, if you guys remember the last episode, Zhao confessed to Elias that he was the one that killed his parents to begin with. Now, that kind of begs the question, it's just like, why did Jao take care of Elise? If he was the bandit that killed Elise's parents, why did he take it upon himself to take care of Elise like his own daughter? You know? Maybe it was because he was guilty or something? I don't know. It's just, it, it's one of those questions you just like, why did he do that? Why didn't he just, leave? if he was a bandit, why did he leave, why didn't he just leave Elise to die? Like, you know? Other bandits would. But all those answers will be all those questions will be answered much later in the game so with that if you come around this corner I do believe that there yep there's the ivory treasure ivory treasure's right there I had to kill that monster to get it out of the way but if you come over here and check this wall there's the ivory treasure right here and inside is 10,000 gold so if you're short on cash there you go another little boost to your cash wallet <laughs> but let's go ahead and climb this wall here and we should be on our way out. We should finally be able to get out of this gosh forsaken cave. <laughs> you seem unwell. We're done already? Isn't that good? I wasn't done playing around. You're such a bully. <laughs> Alvin! I swear. <laughs> I forgot I kept that in too. <laughs> but they kind of interrupt that little monologue too. Kind of feel bad about that. If you, you guys can probably pretty much read the subtitles, but. That. that, that it's really sad that it happened to Lise, because Lise now is just doesn't know what to think, and she's very indecisive and about everything, and I don't blame her. But now, as upon leaving this, we are in Zalen Woods. This. I'm hungry, and if you don't eat a lot, you'll never grow bazoongas. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Tipo. But. Upon leaving this cave, we are in Zalen Woods. Zalen Woods is only one area. It's an area that links up the dungeon that Mila's in, that we'll find out in the next episode, as well as the dungeon we were just in. And it also connects to the next area, which we're heading towards right now. It actually leads to Zalen Temple, which is not part of Campbellar. One thing I do need to warn you guys about, one of the devil's beasts is roaming this land. Do not fight it. I will repeat, you are still not strong enough to take on that thing. But right here is an ivory shredder, right here on this wall. And inside is a Sephra. It gives you 1.5 times much gall from battle, but you have to equip it as an accessory. So if you if you don't have very good accessory, uh, like if you have iron boots and everything, you have to kind of un unequip those to equip that to give you 1.5 gold at the end of every battle. That kind of gets a little hit to your defense. Yeah. It's so dark and cramped. It's just like our room in Hamil. <laughs> but that's a little, little um, item that will boost your gold. Uh, but like I said, there's one of the devil's beasts roaming this land. He's actually not roaming the land right now, but if you come back to this area anytime afterwards he will be roaming this area and as you guys can see it's only one area it leads to Zalen Woods Temple the lava tubes up to the north that's where Mila is coming from and the ice cavern that we just came out of uh, but like I said before if you come back very much later he will be roaming this area so be mindful of that he does he looks a lot different than all the other enemies you can't miss him but here's the other Ifree treasure. It's right here on this rock. So let's go ahead and let's look at it. It gives you the full frame glasses, which is another accessory to put on your characters. Now, this does have a new enemy here. Let's go ahead and fight it. These are ice golems. These guys are mean. <laughs> they're mean because they defend, and they're golems. Golems are golem type enemies are really strong. And this is the first time we've actually fought these guys. And I was complaining about, you know, recolor re skin enemies. 
but these guys can be really annoying. The best person you can equip for this is Alvin, because, or the best person you can link up with for this is Alvin, because he breaks guards. So be mindful of that. We're going to be fighting other golems that look like that. So if you come all the way down here, you actually, it'll lead you, if you come down this way, it'll lead you down to the lava tubes. I don't know why I'm going down here. I think I'm trying to look for items and stuff like that. But up that wall right here is where the lava tubes are. We'll be coming back to it anyways later. I know we're going to be taking a visit to it in the next episode. But we're going to be actually coming back for it for a side quest in, in the following episodes. But as of right now, we need to go head over to Zalen Wood's temple because that's the next objective. If this, they don't know where to go. But that's where the objective is actually telling us to go, is to go to Zalen Wood's temple. But like I said before, this is a very short area with a chock full of enemies, by the way. <laughs> it should, it's kind of almost really like crowded with all the enemies that are in this area. It's because it's really tiny. It's just like chock full with enemies. But without further ado, let's go into the Zalen Woods Temple. Where are we? That's Kambalar's castle. Jude! Mila, I missed you! Am I glad to see you? I'm so glad you're all safe. It's good to see you again. I wholeheartedly agree. Mila? Oh, do I know you? I've never seen you before. Huh? Why, I am your elder sister. Sister? I don't have a sister. What's going on, Muse? This may be our first time speaking true. Yet we are both spirits born into this world at nearly the same time. Well, you definitely are a spirit. That much I can believe. <laughs> No need to be so suspicious. What could a spirit gain from impersonating your sister? You are Maxwell, after all. That's true, it wouldn't gain her anything. Why did you appear before Jude? <laughs> because you summoned me before him, or rather, your powerful feelings for him summoned me. Really? Could that even be possible? I don't know. I'll admit I've been hearing a voice in my dreams. Wingo? Hold that thought. So the information was correct. I despise that man, Gilland. He promotes peace, even as he uses Spyrex to hurt humans and spirit kind alike. We may have no choice but to eliminate him and his group. I agree. How will we do that? Those people have armored soldiers and flying ships and big cannons and... 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 Alvin, it's time you came clean. You should tell us everything you know. Alvin. 
Alvin. I assume Gaius won't stand for this. He is inviting us in. Frankly, I'm surprised he even revealed himself to us. Maybe they're testing us? It's not a trap, is it? What are we waiting for? Let's go. What happened? I'm on the straight and narrow now. I promise. And why would we believe you this time? I have a score to settle with Gillen. Let me be the one to finish him off. If I betray you again, you have my permission to run me through with that sword of yours. So let me come with you. And if I refuse? Then I'll kill him on my own. Very well. Thanks. I appreciate it. We have to find out what Gaius is planning. Yeah. So we just learned a lot. Gilland and his goonies are occupying Cambalar. First, we have a skit here. Mila's sister. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Are you really Mila's sister? I am. Although it differs from the way you humans conceive of sisterhood. In what way? I couldn't say. I know little about the human version of the concept. But you brought it up! So, elementally, what kind of spirit are you? Oh my! What temerity to ask such a personal question! Wait, what? Alvin! You're committing sexual harassment! Wait, hold on, I didn't mean anything! Oh, okay then. Sheesh, every bit the painter's sister is, but in a completely different way. <laughs> I feel bad for Alvin because he wasn't even implying anything, you know? But anyways, let's go ahead and listen to this next skit. I have you to thank for saving Jude. Not at all. Jude was quite a help to me. Thanks to his direct tethering with me, I was able to recharge much of my lost mana. Jude, you direct tethered with her? Uh... Yeah, Muse asked me to. Was that bad? <laughs> bad? It's, uh... Direct tethering is something a spirit and a human do when, uh... uh... Since we were together constantly, he was able to fill me with loads of mana. I... I had no idea you were that kind of man. Mila, wait! Why is she so angry? My... I can't believe you'd ask me to explain that to you. Do you just want to hear me say it? Is that what you're into? Someone tell me what is going on with these spirits. Guys, Jude's 15. He doesn't understand what the heck you guys are implying. So many false Does impl impl else think that Alvin's implying. Kind of weird. Alvin's <laughs> always weird. <laughs> Those two skits are just like, oh my gosh. No one knows the innuendos you kind of guys are implying. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. But anyways, we've got a lot of level ups in, the, in that cave. I'm gonna go ahead and do so um, right now. But those skits were just kind of like, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> you feel bad for both Jude and Alvin's because they both were victims of that. People accusing accusing Alvin of sexual harassment, and then Mila getting super jealous because Jude tethered with a spear with a muse. Jude doesn't even probably even know what happened to him. From the looks of it, looks of it, whenever it did happen, Jude's like, okay, all right, tethered, awesome. You know, he, he didn't know anything was gonna happen, <laughs> but, but those two skits were kind of funny. I like those skits because it's just like typical, it's just like, well, <laughs> what kind of situation we put ourselves in, you know? But we got a lot of level ups in the last on um, this episode alone because we were battling a lot and. Not only that, um, Leia, Rowan, and, and Mila, since they were away, they get those levels too. They get all the experience points that you gain whenever your party members are away. But, with that, we've got another skit here. Uh, this is one when you get Jude up to a certain level, he will get the skit. Watch your backs, everyone. Don't get complacent. Jude has grown into such a prudent young man. Really? Seems like he's been freakishly level-headed since the day he was born. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Mila? 
I'm just remembering the first time we met, and how you panicked when I trapped you in one of Undine's bubbles. No, oh, I haven't heard this story. Well, come on! Anyone would freak out if they were suddenly attacked by one of the great spirits. He does have a point. I know I'd have been terrified. What? So I'm some sort of monster now? Hey, it's okay. Meeting you taught me how to cope with difficult situations. So I helped you to grow? Hmm. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. Jude sure has gotten good at dealing with Mila. If growing up has taught him anything, it's that. <laughs> uh, well, with that, guys, in the next episode of Let's Play Tales of Zillia, we're going to go and take a bit of a time travel-esque uh, charade. We're going to go back and view what Mila was going through during this whole scenario this episode. So with that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.